9000 series air seeders have scales for each individual tank integrated into the X35 monitor. Each tank is equipped with three load cells to provide individual on-the-go weights. First, we will start with the setup of the universal terminal. We will go to System, Features, Console, touch on the universal terminal tab, and then select Enable from the drop-down box and then touch on the check mark to confirm your selection. Now we will go to the System Features Implement tab. In the top right of the screen, the Way Scales tab is located. Touch on it to open the drop box to enable it and touch the check mark if not enabled. Both the Universal Terminal and Way Scales are now active and ready for use. We will now go and look at the scale setup. So go to Implement Cedar Way Scales. There are four tabs relating to scales. First select ECU. Once this screen is open we will see a tab at the top. Detect new ECUs. This is used when detecting scale ECUs for the first time or when an ECU is changed and a new one is installed, it will need to be detected to function. There is a more detailed presentation on ECU detection if you are unsure of how to detect ECUs. Below that tab, we have a column for ECU. This will number the ECUs in the order they are detected. In the ID column, it shows the ID number of the ECU. The scales column shows how many scales are connected to the ECU. ECU1 has the four main tanks connected to it. ECU2 will have one as only the saddle tank is connected to it. The last column is remove. This allows you to remove an ECU from the list. If it has to be changed, then a new one can be detected. The next tab is the Scales tab. The column Scale shows A to B, which represents tanks 1 to 4. A equals tank 1, B equals tank 2, and so on. The column Effects Scale should be set to None, as each scale only affects itself. The column for Setup Number is a factory set number and corresponds to the model you have selected in your profile. The calibration number is also factory default based on your model in the profile. There will be a second tab for the second SL2 scale link if the air seeder has a saddle tank. Here's a list of the specific setup and calibration numbers. This is in the operator's manual and can be referenced. These numbers should be set properly from the factory, so should not need to be changed. The exception is if the tank weights are not matching a known weight in the tank, then you can determine a new calibration number using the formula on the screen. If this is done, the new calibration number must be entered in this screen. Do not enter it in the universal terminal screen as it will not update properly. Entering it in here will also change the number in the universal terminal. If either a setup number or calibration number get changed accidentally, correct it in this screen. The next tab is the assignment tab. The tank column lists the tanks the name column shows the product name that is selected in each tank. The scale column shows the scale ECU 1 or 2 and A to D for the associated tank 1 to 4. The weight remaining column shows method being used on the tanks in the Cedar Controller tank screen. For 9000s this is measured for all tanks 
as the scales are measuring the actual weight in the tanks. The select column for all tanks being used should have the green check mark present. The last tab is the pressure compensation tab. This is to make sure the weight showing in the monitor is the same whether the fan is running or not. To check this the tank weight should be zeroed when empty. Put a known weight into or on the tank. Note the weight without the fan running. Start the fan and check the weight again. If the weight is not the same, adjust the pressure compensation number until the weights match. This should be done to each of the individual tanks. Anytime you notice the weight in the seed rate controller screen changing when the fan is started, an adjustment may be required. We will now look at some of the functions we can access through the universal terminal. Touch on the running man to go back to the operating screen on the left side. There should be a tab or two if you have a saddle tank either black with a white border or blue around white. If you touch on one or both of those tabs, they will open in the mini view. Touch on the mini view to slide it out to the full view screen. For a five tank system, there will be two tabs. One will have tanks one to four. The other will have tank five. This screenshot shows both mini views, tank 1 to 4 on the top and tank 5 below. In the main screen, tanks 1 and 5 are in view. We can see the weight for tank 1 is the same in the mini view and in the tank, as well as tank 5 in the mini view and cedar controller view. These are matching. However, if the fans are running. There is a chance that these may vary somewhat due to the Digistar display not being pressure compensated and the in-tank weights on the Cedar controller screen are pressure compensated. We will look at some of the functions of the Digistar UT. Slide the mini view out into full view. The 9000 air seeders do not have the Digistar display mounted on the tank, so some functions must be accessed through the UT. To zero the weight in a tank, it has to be done in this screen. The tank that is highlighted, T1, is in this case is the one that you affect. Holding the zero tab for three seconds will zero the tank selected. And you can move on to any of the other ones that you like to zero as well. To move between screens, use the cycle button in the top right corner of the screen. Touching it once will show this screen. The top portion are factory defaults. The direct access number screen can be accessed here by touching that tab. You enter the DAN number in the appropriate space, then enter the proper setting number in the space above. These should all be factory set, however, sometimes they, there may be a case where they need to be corrected. Touching the cycle button again will take you to this screen where a number of the settings for the tank you have selected, in this case tank 1. These are all factory default settings based on model selected in profile. It shows the setup number and calibration number here. These numbers should not be changed in this screen as it will not update the X35, only the SL2. Only change these in the settings screen for the scales as we showed earlier in the presentation. To return to the main UT tank display, you can touch on the cycle tab again or you can return there from any screen by touching the home tab. On this page the large display can be changed from tank to tank by touching the desired small view tab. Also at the bottom of this screen the firmware version of the SL2 will be displayed. Check both UT screens to ensure they are correct.
We will now view the tanks on the Cedar controller screen in tank 1. The symbol indicates scale, so the weight is the actual weight from the scale. In the box to the left of that, you have a calculated weight. Therefore, these two numbers may not be the same. All 9000 series air seeders should be updated to software version 4.04.521 and all appropriate firmware versions. CTSB 4.21 for full details.